All right, take Hi. take two. <laughs> Hi. Take two. Hey, everyone! Hello, hello. Um, I'm in the middle of this, uh, and T just made up a big batch of cookie dough going over to our friends to bake some cookies. And, uh, well, I just got back from the uh, dairy farmer that I get my raw milk from, and I thought I'd share this with you because uh we've had this discussion with some other folks because they're like um you know wanting to deal with the what you can do with the milk and the cream you you're gonna you're gonna you'll make it this time i'm good <laughs> okay might leave that at the end as the blooper reel uh, we started it off and oh it was funny uh yeah well just hang on to the end anyway um so we got a bunch of these uh stainless steel pots uh, they were really inexpensive. I got them from Harbor Freight. I went and got my milk, and uh, we we bag it up and freeze it. So I get um, three gallons at a time, and I'll put it in baggies like this, and then, then we freeze it. And that way we can keep the milk for a longer period of time. Otherwise, it tends to want to go bad. What we had been doing is keeping it in uh, the half-gallon jars that I get, stick them in the refrigerator, and then separating it. And we were fighting with the uh, getting all the cream out, yeah. which wasn't too bad because the cream, the actual cream in the coffee was when when you put it in hot coffee, it turns to butter, and there's a, like a layer of butter on the top of the. Oh, and uh, it is good. I get buttery coffee. I get buttery coffee. Well, we've got a new way of working on this. So when we got our Berkey, it came with the plastic and a stainless no, no I had we to had to, the, i had to buy the stainless steel we had to buy the, that's right it only came with the plastic uh so we we want we wanted the stainless steel spout for the berkey and so we had the extra spout and you can order them or about eight or ten dollars online but i had this pot and the handle broke on it and uh actually handles right, there. Handles right here it broke um our last um, canning session that we did with these pots. Yeah, not too long ago, it, it, it broke. So we like, okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna do this differently. So when I got home last night, and it was late, about 8:30 when I got back from uh, Missouri to um, get the milk, we dumped all three gallons into this can or into this pot and put it in the inner in our chest freezer that's our refrigerator we only run it long enough to cool things and then let it cool down and it's separated so it does a really good job now the idea is this uh, once you get the next bag and I can record while you do this all right putting them in the baggies we've learned you do not open this all the way because if you spread this joint where it was melted it will leak so she was really careful to open it up in the middle without separating the ends uh, it, it's what we've learned and it works and so we're going to fill the bag of milk and it takes a little bit but here, here's the deal this is the cleanest separation that we've been able to do with this and three stop. two one stop okay so yeah it is dripping a little bit but that's the idea so we can go up to our dairy farmer we can get a bunch of milk and we can bag it up in quart bags and we'll stack them in the freeze in our actual freezer freezer let it freeze up and then about once a week or so i go out there and i pull a bag and this is lasting us three three months at a time we're getting we're getting about a quarter well, week. Um, yeah, because the last bag I pulled out was from July. Honey. Yeah, and and the nice thing about that is and we got cream still from and we got the cream and we well we got the cream that we got to process. So if you want to make butter mm -hmm. and we do make our own butter out of the cream or anything else that you want to make out of it, this is a good way to not only store long-term store uh your milk but to actually separate it because we haven't even gotten to the um let's go ahead and hit the next we haven't gotten to the cream yet and you'll see that let's see if we can get there 
Will that stay open? No, I have to mm -hmm. hold it. I gotta hold it. So I'll hold it. But this is a neat little trick. And nature. Are we down there yet? No, we're not cream. We'll know as soon as it turns as soon as it turns to cream. How much more we got? We're close to it being all cream. Mm -hmm. And that stuff is thick too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Hold on. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Holy sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Oh, that's thick. It's <laughs> very sweet. All, all gone. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. Whew. It's warm. I might have to fire the generator very up. Warm. Very warm. Get these in the freezer and she's going to go bake cookies. So, the idea is that I should be able to do this right up until we hit the cream and be able to have separated slow now because you're hitting they're look am i in cream not yet but it's slow because probably you're getting ready to hit cream yeah i don't think we're in cream yet although it is starting to change color it's not as it's not like i think we're mixing color. cream mm -hmm. yeah we're mixing cream because so look look at the color all right sit that bag next to this one yeah. yeah that's got cream mixed into it all right can you see the color difference yeah the 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 plain the regular milk is white and that's done turned yellow so this is this is getting into the cream milk cream so that's about that's a little milk and cream um but it ain't the thick stuff yet. And I think we're going to have to pour that. I don't know if it, that stuff isn't going to go through the no, spout. We could try. No, I think we're just going to try and pour it. So I'm going to end the video and make it a short one. Um, there you go. So not quite a quart in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go. That's a lot. A lot of oh, see, this is this is what we're talking about. A lot of biscuits. See, a lot of biscuits. So we'll set these up right in the freezer so that it doesn't leak. Because there's another one over here. This one was leaking. Anyway, um, as long as we have these available, that's a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, tips and tricks, home setting hacks, yep. as some like to call them, and. Uh, uh, that's good enough for now. Y'all take care, and we'll catch you again later. Say bye-bye. You lost? <laughs> <laughs> do I leave? Me? Do I leave that in the video or not? <laughs> Squeeze me. Maybe I will leave it in the, in the video. Oh my goodness. I ain't no lady, sorry. No.